G'day boys and girls. Welcome to another episode of Get Fit or Die Trying. Ah, g'day boys and girls. Just out here at Robe. Beautiful Robe in the sunny southeast of South Australia. Limestone Coast and all of that. Just going to go and explore a bit of road today. Hopefully get to Beacon Hill as well. Just going to have a look down the main street. Went there for Chinese last night. Oh my god. Absolutely best Chinese I've had in ages. Well, you had a few wines and beers yesterday, but nothing too stupid. Wanted to make sure I could get out and ride today. There's a frightening little uh, tourist town here. So this is the Chinese restaurant we went to last night. Pretty busy. Robe Chinese restaurant. So it's not called the Golden Lobster or something, but everything else around here has got a lobster name. Alright, I'm going to go over to this little pathway that I seen last night. Yeah, lots of limestone rocking around here. There's uh, really sharp gnarly rocks down there on the foreshore on the beach there. Cracking morning, it's only about oh, 15 or 18 degrees or something. So uh, it's not going to get too warm, which is good. Morning. There's this obelisk thing, which is not really a lighthouse, it's some kind of beacon marker thing. What's that old building over there? Look at that. Robe Custom House. Okay. Oh, there you go. Lots of old buildings around here. Arthur Fennel Way, eh? Alright, oh, this little boardwalk. Looks like it even lights up at night. Lovely. This is really nice down here, actually. The first time we've been to Robe. And absolutely loving it. Perfect time of year for it. Yeah, I heard it's normally windy down here, but um, we've been down here from the southeast for three days now, basically, and uh, it's been bloody beautiful. So look at this old joint. Sort of reminds me a bit of Hobart in a way. Some of these old buildings. What is it? Karata Beach Cottage. Take a look at this joint. Pretty specky, isn't it? Very nice. Gotta love these limestone cliffs. With all their little cave like bits and pieces. Alright, I can see the top of the obelisk over there, so let's head in that general direction. Oh, the track goes along here. Nice. Oh, nice. A little wallaby, eh? Yeah, just jumped out. The theme of the day might be sand, I reckon. Around these parts. I still can't find this obelisk. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh yes, it's a bit of a uh, rocky outcrop to get to it, isn't it? Ah, it just looks shit with the fence in the way, that's the problem. Built in 1855. Yeah, right. 230 pounds, eh? Hmm. I mean, they could at least put a bit of a platform so you can get up and take a photo of it without the stupid fence in the way. I think it's just a bit sort of nearsighted, you know, a bit... I haven't really thought about it. It's big warnings, keep out, keep out, but... We're going to get a nice photo of it. We don't particularly want to be uh, showing off all this bloody fence everywhere. 
Yeah, right. Originally, they, uh, the mariners were unhappy that they couldn't see the bloody thing against the, uh, the white uh, sand hills. So then they painted it red and white. So it stood out a bit more. Well, there you go. Nice. Check that out. That looks killer. Yeah, that looks better. Like up there by the looks of things. Hey man! That is the hey man himself. Here we are. See now, National Parks and Wildlife Service, this is what you do. You put a little sticker that says you are here at the beginning of your trails. That's how you do it. Alrighty, well we're down here at Beacon Hill. Rightio, let's go on the uh, the fine trail. Corners, low tree branches.
just missed that tree. Okay. <laughs> Save. And the front end light. Oh, not too light in the corners, eh? Down a little bit. Right, right at the critical moment on the apex.
Oh man, Whew. that's fun, that's cool, getting there out there, bloody beautiful. Oh. How's it going boys and girls, just down here in, uh, in Beacon Hill in actual fact, just uh, basically in robe, sweating like a bloody pig. Um, the uh, Robe Mountain Bike Association here, Romba, created some nice little tracks through here, they're quite tight, it's very jungly if you have a look. It's all these vines growing from trees and it's very sandy. I mean, look at this, look at this kind of stuff. A couple of little downhill parts which just look a bit too stupid for my liking. Big sort of concrete bouldery kind of things trying to create features and then it just goes into boggy sand and it's like pff, that front wheel is just going to dig in. I don't know, probably just need to run real low pressures through here. I'm probably running 15, 20 odd anyway on the Merida. I haven't checked them in a while, but they feel about that. Um, but yeah. Nice, tight, twisty little windy trail through here. Real shady. And, um, yeah, still hot though. Sweating like a pig. Um, got my new gnarly merch. Gnarly gloves, which are real good, by the way. They're, um, there was a bit of a sale on. And uh, on Instagram, so I uh, thought, why not? But they've got these nice little uh, tactile kind of uh, thumb, thumb and uh, index finger. So you can... You know, touch your phone and it works really, really well. They got the nice little logo on there, same as that there. This thing's got like a little pocket around the back and that. So there you go, went up to Beacon Hill Lookout. Beacon Hill Lookout. Um, and uh, yeah, just coming here doing a few loops of this uh, couple of the green trails. They're just They've got a couple of nice little features and stuff through trees and whatever. The corners you can sort of take nice and quick and get a bit slidey in them. And um, yeah, lots of leaf litter around and twigs and stuff. Sometimes the twigs get caught in your wheels and whatnot. But um, yeah, it's bloody good, mate. So uh, if you're ever down in road, bring the mountain bike. Um, we're just staying at the Sea View uh, Caravan Park, which is, or Sea View Road, I think it's called. Um, it's really, really nice. We've got a nice beachfront um, sort of site. It's pretty crammed in though. You, there's lots of people there. It's pretty busy. The amenities are good, showers are good. I'll be hitting that up as soon as I get back. I might even go for a swim, although I went for a swim yesterday, mate, and the water was absolutely freezing. I mean, the beach looked bloody really inviting. I went into the water, man. I'm like, oh, my God. But, um, yeah, no, really nice. And uh, But, yeah, I had a bit of an explore this morning. Just sort of went around to uh, around the edge of the coast, um, check out the obelisk and some of those rocky outcrops that are in the water and that. Took a few photo shots and whatnot. Anyway. Not a soul around, mate, especially on the bikes anyway. There's been a few cars going up to the lookout, but um, yeah, just about on my own here, mate. So uh, haven't seen any wombats, although I have seen their uh, evidence. There's some cube-like dung around the place and whatnot. So uh, anyway, keep on riding. Where's this guy? Yeah, little name here by the looks of it. Oh, it's just a bit tight for these cow horns. Jesus. Bloody oh. hell. I'm not sure where this is going. It's more of a kangaroo trial, I think. Oh, those little bushes, man. Spiky as shit. Oh. Oh. Fuck. Man, there's a road. Oh. 
So I'll go bush bashing. Oh. Oh. Not quite. Oh. Fuck. Bush basher. Yeah, couldn't you? Not too smelly. Why don't you take your fucking rubbish with you? Look at these filthy pigs. It's all too hard for some people. If you're bike packing, you could easily just sort of pull up one of these spots. Oh, nice. Very beautiful. Shit, yeah. 26k's worth. 